Okay, uh, Stephen Dunning just asked me to do a, uh, a, a video there on the home charging. So I, I've just got home and uh, not a very busy day today, unfortunately. But uh, as you can see, 60% battery. So uh, we, what I've been doing to uh, kind of <laughs> avail of the uh, lower electricity prices and that. I'm only going to charge it for two hours tonight between uh, 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. where it, 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 that's the, the cheap block that that's that I have uh, that will give me 14 kilowatts which will be you know 90 to 100 uh, kilometer range which uh, on top of the 60 percent it's about 25 percent uh, battery so It'll give me 85 percent uh f for tomorrow which would be m more than enough you know so uh j just for scheduling this there um i just hope you can see it so you just open up the the app just tap on the charger and as you can see the last charge that that i gave it was 24.92 uh kilowatts so just click on schedule and it shows you the the time there and if you want to change it you, you can program this uh, for different times on different days or you, you, you like it, it's multifunctional but uh, I, I just have it for that so it'll start at uh, 2 a.m. and the last time I charged it I charged it for four and a half hours so uh, I'll just change that back to two hours you can click on whatever days I, I just have a Monday and then click OK and as you can see it, it'll just charge it for for the two hours and that'll be more than enough for, for me for tomorrow. Now I have found <clears throat> when I first started using this um, I'd set the timer and all that and I'd close the app and then I found that the car would just start charging straight away so you actually have to leave the app open and you have to leave it open on this screen if I go back to the main screen, uh, it, it will just start manually charging, which uh, charging straight away, um, uh, and that's it. You, you, you can also on the app, you can, you know, yesterday it'll show you what uh, what charge, which <laughs> I didn't charge it yesterday. Uh, you know, this week it'll tell you, you know, how many, 39.1 uh, kilowatts is what I've put it into it this week so that's it so I, I, I just set up the app like that and um, I, I leave the app open but obviously I can just close off the screen and then uh, just plug the car in so uh, I just I'll s switch the car off and then I have the, the charger in the boot now I got um, an untethered uh, charger so just bear with me there till I get the, the cable out. I've only got only got two hands. So and I, I only got the untethered app because as you can see it's right beside the gate so I just thought it'd be better not to have the the, the lead the tethered app to it, you know. So uh you can see there just saying e EV not connected. So, Whoop. <laughs> I should have gotten somebody to help me with this. So, so plug it in and then plug in the car. And then you can see it's saying waiting for surplus so that's uh, that's the timer so that's it it's as simple as that uh, Stephen and uh, two o'clock tonight it'll start charging and it'll charge for two hours and, and that'll be it now we, we, with the MG you, you'll just see on the screen there when I lock the car it's just saying connecting and and that's it 
it's as simple as that but um, w when I got the charger fitted uh, the, the guy did say to me that some people had problems with scheduling it and it's probably because they were closing the screen on the app um, which as I said I, I, I just found out from an early stage that when I was closing the app on my phone it was uh, it just started charging the car so I just discovered it that I had to leave that screen on the app open and it, it was fine it worked uh, with, with, with the scheduling so that's it hope that helps you Stephen all right talk to you soon